Peggy 3. You have to forget about the fear factor. It's purely about winning or losing, and that's a real special element in, in rally. I don't know so much other things than driving, you know? And if you believe in yourself a lot, you know that you're jumping back in the car again, you will be fast. Fear is not something I really feel. Maybe it's more about adrenaline and the nervousness of not knowing what will happen, like in the first corner. I'm never scared when I'm actually in the fight, but you know, when you've lost the car or when you're heading to the wall, then you, you, know, you release your hands and you close your eyes. For me, the main thing is adrenaline, what I'm getting on the, my driving, and uh, the risk, every kind of sport is a risk sport. You're never afraid when you drive, but you can get some really nice adrenaline kicks sometimes, but uh, that's what keeps us pushing very, very hard. Extreme sport looks like crazy from outside, for the people not know, but if he wants to do that for many, many years, you really need to be super well prepared, well organized, and uh, work is the key. Actually, I'm not afraid from a high speed or the big jumps or door-to-door -door racing. The most thing what I'm afraid is for really fast stopping the car in one second. Of course, big crashes make you think, but if you start feeling fear, I think you lose your game and uh, you shouldn't maybe think about it, but of course you have to drive smart. In the two last years I've had two big crashes and both times I was feeling pretty sore immediately after and I was feeling like a very old man who had pain in his whole body and, and all this but just two three days afterwards you're all fine. Maybe the ugliest crash in rally maybe ever you know is the one I had in Germany where I almost killed my co-driver you know. He went to hospital and week after we going to Japan first time rally Japan is on you know with all the fans and all the people say okay uh, it'll be difficult for Peter to come back again after that accident. And first stage in Rally Japan, even with the same core driver, we won the stage 15 seconds in front of Loeb. We won the race. It's not enough with that, you know, but I won also the two next races. So three races in a row after maybe the biggest accident in, uh, in, in Rally. It's all about how much you want it. That's the buzz in driving a rally car. It's driving blind to a certain degree. You know, you're arriving at a corner, top speed, and you're close to 200 kilometers an hour. Your co-driver tells you it's maybe flat out and you have to make that instantaneous decision. It's the difference between going off the road, staying on the road, but also it's the difference between winning and losing. Um, for me, in my head, you know, you're always thinking of trying to win. It's all going for the gap and going for the moment. <laughs> 